there everyone if you are new to rock my body just stumbled across this video somehow randomly on a midweek day make sure you drop down give us one of these it goes a long way to get us up that search bar get us on facebook instagram and twitter and if you haven't already click the subscribe button so if this away day vlog is a bit of you gives you a bit of a taste of what a newcastle away day is like you'll be notified every single time i post another one so thankfully this one midweek liverpool away does not involve a stupid o'clock in the morning bus no early wake ups at five o'clock in the morning to get on the party bus Midweek game, quite a difficult one for a lot of fans to get to. That's why they can be a bit frustrating. I've, I've been able to move a little, few things around my work, but the away games are coming thick and fast at the moment. So it's not a game we're expecting very much from. It's a nice short trip down there. We've got a lot of injuries. Maximin's out, Bruno's out. Wilson's obviously out. Those are some of our really, really core players, especially when you're playing at Anfield, a team where you need your Maximins to be getting in behind, causing them problems. We may play on the counter-attack depending on how the game goes. Liverpool play such a high line, it's frustrating to see some of them not players not available. But under Eddie Howe, who knows? I know we're going to give them a good go. I know we're not going to sit back for the full, full 90 minutes like we've done in the past under previous managers. And look how we did against Man City. We absolutely smashed Man City in spells of that game. One of the best games I've watched for years. So why can't we go to Liverpool and do it? They haven't started the season very well. The defence doesn't look great. I haven't seen as much of them in the opening four games as what you've maybe expected from previous Liverpool sides. They were without Nunes, who obviously got sent off. So who knows in football, the Premier League has started crazy. So I'm going to get me sandwiches and me beers and whatnot together, head over to Newcastle, get on the party bus and get down there, get some fans' thoughts in the process. So let's have it. Liverpool away, anything can happen. <laughs> To me, the quicker you get off, okay. N O N P is how you gain access to the ground. November, Oscar and Papa, that's your away tickets, okay. For those who haven't been here before, Anfield is having a reconstruction in Anfield Road, so you cannot get through Anfield Road. You've got to go through the park. Okay? So as you leave this coach, you go to your left, and as you walk up a thousand yards on your right is daily walk at N O N P, okay. To gain access to the ground, you can't take a bag into Anfield. It's a no-bag policy apart from A5. A5. A5, just bear with us. A5, right? And whatever you do tonight, guys, the Sniffer Dog team are present like they are at every fixture now. Do not bring flares. Do not bring pyros. You'll be, obviously, have them take... Right, I'm here with Hash. If you haven't already, make sure you get his, his page on YouTube, East Midland Mags. What's the score going to be, Hash? We're going for a 2 1 win, but I'll take it to one. Oh, I tell you what. Now, Isaac, his work permit has been granted. Get in. How's he going to get on? Is he going to start? Go with his 2 1 to score a brace. Oh, happy days! Yeah, Tell you right. what, that will be a good night. Yeah, no, I can't see him starting, to be honest with you. But, um, and the, the big question the next 24 hours transfers. There's only 24 hours left. Do you think we're going to get anyone in? Uh, realistically, probably not. But maybe alone. Um, Tealman's are shouting about, but I can't see anyone really. I think now. if Tealman, Tealman yeah, yeah. came in, that would be a nice yeah. business, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, fingers crossed that one comes off. But like I say, make sure you get his page, East Midland Mag. So if anyone is around there, Get on there. Newcastle fans are absolutely everywhere. Right, Craig, Mr. Jagerbomb, man. I must warn you, he hasn't had any Jagerbombs on this trip, so his answers might be affected by that. But he does have a beer. Just here. Doesn't normally drink them. What's the score going to be, Craig? 1-0. Who's the first scorer? Botman. 
Oh, interesting choice. Isaac's work permit has passed. Is he starting? Where do you play him? And how's he going to play? Up front, up. So no Chris Wood. I think he'll be on the bench. I think he'll be on the bench. Not a big fan of Chris Wood then. Oh, I, I think like Chris Wood will start, but I mean I think he'll put him on the bench, to be honest. And transfers last 24 hours, who do you want him? Yeah, Realistically, based Tellemans. off who we've been linked with. Tellemans. That's 25 million, that's pretty decent million. money, isn't it? Get him done. How are you feeling about the way day without Jaeger bombs? I'm a bit ropey. <laughs> Hi Claire. It's Claire's first away game, which I'm hoping is gonna be a good omen. So do you normally go to many games at St. James's Park? Uh, yeah. She must be pretty excited to get in there tonight. Nice. Even more so now you found out Isaac's starting. So my first question is going to be, how is he going to get up tonight? Is he going to score? So. That's what I like to hear. And what's your score predictions for tonight? Oh, I'll take a draw. Score draw, definitely take that. And obviously this week, transfer window, 24 hours to go. Do you think we're going to get any more players in this week or not? Who would you like to see based off... We've been linked with Tielemans. Would you take Tielemans from Leicester? No. I think, I think if he comes in, there'll be celebrations in the street. Well, happy days. Fingers crossed. I'll take a draw all day, so I hope that one comes true. And I hope you enjoy your first away day. Yes, thank you. What's the score going to be today, Davey? Like Who's boys. scoring first? Newcastle's cost it's only 1-0. <laughs> Happy days, I'll take that. And what's, the fl what's the flag you've done on there? Go on, give us a, give us a twirl. Boys. Give us a twirl. Shilden boys. Shilden mags. Shilden mags. See that one there? That's a fucking drama. Absolutely fantastic. 1-0 win, I'll take that, mind. 1-0, and it's own goal. Happy. <laughs> as long as it goes in, who cares? Who cares? <laughs> Just outside the ground now, Isaac is in. Team Hughes is in. Butman's been dropped, though. Don't quite understand that one. Target's back, which is good, but Isaac is up top. Fingers crossed he hits the ground runner. I'm not expecting too much. First game in the Premier League, but hey, we've got our new £58 million striker up top, and I can't wait to see him play. Who knows what can happen? How are you, the lads? Chances. We've been absolutely up Liverpool's arses, and there's one thing Liverpool don't like it's a team giving them a good go and not just sitting back. That's exactly what Liverpool want. Every player's been absolutely cracking in our first half. Our Mignon's caused them problems, Grace has caused them problems, even Longstaff in midfield. I think it's quite a decent shift in. Fantastic half. Long may continue. What a strike by Isaac. There was some limb cross in this in this away in the half. When that, when that goal went straight out of his feet, crash bang wallop, give me, give me, give me a striker from Sweden. Let's see what the second half has in store. We're the lad. Absolutely livid. How on God's earth, where, where did the 98 minutes even come from in the first place? How was that game even still going on when that goal went in? Don't, I don't know where the referee's got it from. It seems to keep happening at these sorts of places, and I don't really understand why. Never get the rub of the green on these sorts of grounds, but 98 minutes. I mean, I watched the full second half, it wasn't that many stoppages. The game kept on going on and on and on. And you just feel like sometimes when you come to these places, 
you feel like the game is going to keep going until Liverpool score. And it's, of course, as soon as the game kicked back off, the whistle was blown. Still taking it in, the full time whistle's just gone, but it's just man for man tonight. We were absolutely fantastic. We absolutely ran ourselves into the ground. I've got no complaints at all about performance. They never looked like scoring in the second half. I was comfortable with them pumping ball after ball after ball in the box because you can expect a bit of an onslaught. Second half didn't start great, obviously, with their goal. It looked like it came through someone's legs. Their winning goal, I don't even want to talk about it because I'm still absolutely livid, but it looked like it was right in front of me. It looked like Nick Pope had it. I think, was it Willock possibly flicked it back into the mix? It's just a lucky ricochet and it's bobbled in, but the fact that it's come when it has, I thought overall it's very difficult for me to process the match as a whole now because I'm so livid. Can I just say, by the way, anyone who's never been to Anfield, this is one of the quiet stadiums you are ever going to go to. The only time those fans, and there's about 60,000 of them have made any noise tonight, was when they scored in the last minute of the game. Apart from seeing you'll never walk alone, this is one of the worst atmospheres you are ever like to have. I've had a pint of water thrown off us from the stand above. Apparently we have an affiliation with, with this football club, they said, in the, they said in the pub beforehand. I don't feel it. I don't think we like them very much. They booed our players off the pitch. Didn't really make any sense if they were clapping us off. Absolutely livid. I think we really, really deserved something out of that game today. And I feel sorry for them players because I don't have any complaints about them. I thought Matt Target at left back against Salah was absolutely fantastic. I thought Joe Willock in midfield never stopped running. Absolutely brilliant performance from him. And let's face it, Newcastle fans, this is not our strongest team. Bruno's out, Maximin's out, Wilson's out, Botman wasn't playing. I thought the Cells is coming for a lot of stick. He was very good tonight. Joe Linton, solid as I can see why Liverpool are probably looking at him where you get your hands off because he's not fucking coming here, I can tell you that for free. Fantastic performance by him. Isaac on his debut. Well, if you don't already follow my channel, my dog actually called a one-all draw and I actually said in my match preview that Isaac should play up front. So, I don't like to say that I don't know what I'm talking about, but hey, <laughs> make sure you click subscribe if you haven't already. Um, just about to get on the bus home now, but very, very, very hard one to take. It's always hard when you can see in the last minute, but the fact there was eight minutes of play when that goal went in, absolutely disgrace, absolutely disgraceful in my opinion. Don't know where he's getting it from, don't know what the, the post-match verdict on BT Sports going to be, but for me, shouldn't have even been going on, and those lads deserve the point tonight. But, if you'd have given me four games unbeaten at this point in the season when you first looked at the fixtures, giving Liverpool an absolute run for the money, I would have absolutely snapped your hands off. So well done, every single player who's put on the Newcastle shirt tonight. You've done us proud. And Isaac, he can only get better. If you haven't already, Newcastle fans, make sure you drop down, give us one of these, give us a like, it gets us up that search bar and drop us a subscribe as well. And get us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm just going to hop on the bus now for a long trip back. Probably very be frustrations to the rest of the lads on the bus. But like I say, make sure you give us a follow and I'll probably see you on the next video for either hopefully a transfer video in the next 24 hours. But if not, Crystal Palace at the weekend, onwards and upwards we go. Chin up, lads, that was an absolutely fantastic performance. Shame those eight minutes added on. Away the lads. <laughs>